Yes, thank you very much and welcome to Silverstone. A little bit of a world exclusive for you right here on Sky Sports News because these are the first images of the new Mercedes car for the 2018 season. The W09, Valtteri Bottas at the wheel behind the halo. Ted Kravitz alongside me. This is the car favorite to again claim both championships. Ted, are you expecting to see much in the way of evolution? Yes, I think it will be evolution. And, and for all Formula One fans, Craig, who've spent a winter without any races since November, this is a tremendously exciting time. This is the World Championship team about to go out with their new challenger that could carry their hope, either Valtteri Bottas in this car or Lewis Hamilton, the current reigning world champion, to another title. And here it goes. And by the look of it, Craig, it's very similar to last year's. There's some development in the middle of the car. There's the halo head protection, this big sort of bull bar thing on the top of the driver's head. And uh, it looks like they're just coming out just to check some telemetry on the car. They've had uh, a, a few problems just getting the car going. Uh, telemetry are some of the sensors that link the engine to the computers so they can actually tell whether the car is healthy uh, and uh, is able to do a lap. They can only tell it when it actually comes out of the garage and starts to go out on track. So they're checking it once again. It uh, looks like they're going to wheel, wheel it back and uh, do some further checks. You can see the... The, some of the mechanics are wearing their insulating gloves. That's because we're still in the, the hybrid area. This, era, this is a hybrid engine. It harvests and uh, uses electricity, just like a, a hybrid road car. And, and back Valtteri Bottas goes. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the big battlegrounds possibly off the track this year, this political fight between Mercedes and Ferrari on the one hand and, and, a, and perhaps Formula One group or Liberty Media, as they were known on the other, who want to simplify the power units. and. Aside from everything we can see here, it's what's underneath the skin of that Mercedes over the last four years. Its engine, designed by, by Andy Cowell, which has led the way. You just wonder if there'll be more convergence in that area this year, whether if Ferrari and Renault and others can, can, can get close to the horsepower yeah. they provide, that will maybe see us have a... Uh, certainly a two-team fight again, maybe a three-team fight at the front. There will. There certainly will be convergence on engines. That means Ferrari and Renault will get closer to Mercedes. But what Mercedes already know, they can step, uh, take a step forward as well. And really, I'm expecting on paper, Mercedes look like they are well set for their fifth world championship, both in terms of constructors and potentially uh, for Lewis Hamilton as well. So uh, it'll take quite a lot from Ferrari, who are launching later today in a very cold Italy, and from Red Bull, who've already launched their car and have been testing it already. So in terms of testing, Red Bull have got the march on the world champions Mercedes and Ferrari uh, so far. But then it all begins next week in Barcelona. But I think in a, in, a, in, a, in a year like this year that doesn't have a major rule change, that came last year, and of course Mercedes already won, there's no reason why Mercedes shouldn't be the front runners for this season. Okay, great stuff.